Today in Apple News, iOS 12 betas, watchOS release, and more. I'm Matt Skyler. Let's get started. So, today Apple released iOS 12.1.2 Beta 1, and it appears to only have bug fixes. But in this iOS 12.1.2, we're looking for a lot of potential for AirPods or Air Power leaks, because there have been a lot of those recently, and we also have some more news on that later on. So watchOS 5.1.2 was released last week, and it came with the EKG heart monitoring, or ECG, a feature for monitoring your heart, and so the new Apple Watches now have that feature enabled. So 9to5Mac discovered this picture right here, and they also discovered um, a glyph in iOS that shows a device like this for a smart battery case for the 2018 iPhones. Last time there was one was for the iPhone 6 series, 6s, and I believe 7 maybe, but maybe not. And so this is a thing that hasn't happened in a while, and Apple's going to be theoretically doing it again because we've seen this leak, and it's going to look a little different. This is the old one. It kind of cuts off here at the bottom, but this new one kind of goes all the way along, and we can see it's got this double camera for the 10s, 10R, and 10s Max. And this will give extra set, extra batteries so that you can go on long air outings and things when you're using your phone a lot. So Apple has filed an interesting patent for air power that has to do with communication with air power and stuff. That's not really what matters. What matters is they have filed a patent that has to do with development of air power, which means they're still working on it. So we could expect maybe like an air power, AirPod smart battery release later this year, or in the beginning of 2019, hopefully. Some of these products we've been waiting for a long time for. So 9to5Mac did a very interesting poll that shows some certain features that people want in the 2019 iPhones. So in order of most wanted, price, new software features, design, camera tech, USB-C, 5G, durability, better face ID, performance, Apple Pencil, and on the bottom below here is augmented reality. So, I do find it very interesting this year, because price was not my number one concern. Although that's probably because I won't be buying a new iPhone anyway. People that want to buy a new one probably do want that lower price. I personally, although it's low rated on here, would love USB-C. It's such a useful cable that is now on the iPads, and I would love to be on the iPhones too. I think that would just be really nice to have it on both. I would love the new design and new software features. It would just be really nice to get that new the new iPhone idea because iPhones have been the same for a while. I mean, the notch was a little bit of difference, gave us more screen real estate, but I want something new and exciting. So hopefully we can see that soon. I'm a scholar. Thanks for watching. Bye.